to, but I, <laughs> I don't know when you guys are on, my recording like seems to be issues, so. <laughs> but I would like, I would. Uh, yeah, David, can you let me record, please? Yeah. Let me try, let me try to record to the cloud. Oh, I'm already recording it, apparently. No, I, I am. So just, oh. just make sure you are. <laughs> Never mind. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you give him some food? Yeah, David? Yeah, I, I've been doing a lot of healing at night, and uh, is that many people want like the third ID briefing or the fear removing? So I've created a ball in I'll space. Try and call me. Can you call him? I, I've created this ball in space with all the frequencies in. So if anyone yeah. ever wants to tap into that, it's constantly getting filled. So I, I can heal a dozen people at night instead of doing one after the other after the other. I can just channel it in my crown chakra and just send it out. Yeah, cool. Oh, wow. Very How good. How do I get on that list? <laughs> you can just channel into it. It's quite easy. It, it's okay. got, you just put it's, your intention, right? Yeah, David? Yeah. Hi, David. Total newbie no, here, by the way. Clueless. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the, to the crazy well, team. <laughs> well, oh, it seems. Well, I've, I've floated along for a while, but I'm still getting, I don't know, my sea legs. <laughs> sea legs yeah. are good. All right, cool. Are you getting any downloads about this, Bill? Yeah, not really. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I found when I was in Telos, when I was in Shasta, um, this Telos being started talking to me about these um, this planet Nero, and um, it's like what people thought were like the fallen angels, but they're not fallen angels. They're ETs. There's about like a hundred thousand of them on the planet. And they're guarding a lot of the um, entry points for the ETs, like the for coming into Earth, and they're they're um, and the exit points, like in the mountains, for like the Talos and stuff. So they're they're um, have this frequency that's coming from their planet. And then me and this guy from Talos was working on breaking it down, but we didn't completely break it down. So I was thinking, like um, I, the downloads I've been getting today was to go to the crystal dimension to hop in that rainbow pyramid ship come back to earth and then like basically lock on tractor beam on any of their um spaceships that are here and and just like escort them off the planet or as many of them who are on ships anyways off the planet and then go to their planet and take out all their um, communication devices and anything that can that that's creating these frequencies and these are the um these are the guys that have that have been like sort of above the archons and and manipulating things on earth and i've talked to some people about it and i've i've got some confirmations um and um what was the main thing um so it was um that it exists and that they that a lot of people thought that was this planet nibiru that was this planet and stuff and then but nobody could figure out that they couldn't end up getting to this planet nibiru or astral projecting to it so i guess if you don't know its name or you don't know what this race is then it's uh it'd be hard to track it down stop it or whatever so it's kind of like the greatest trick the devil ever pulled is convinced in the world that didn't exist so these guys who are that we don't know are, are sitting here and, and and lowering the frequencies of the planet and everything this whole time so it dave well, yeah you, you can use that energy ball if you want it's got all frequencies in, and it's outside the earth it's up to you ask ask your guides yeah no i was thinking there's something that we could do with that um yeah, yeah i know we should use it we might use it like as a big blast like like a I think we see, sort of see what happens when we get um hmm. i i got a, a pre-glimpse of some of these things that they're using and i've seen them they're like spinning um they're like these little golden spinners or whatever and they're shooting out 
this, these frequencies from their planet. I can, I've, I've, that's as far as I've seen. So I have no idea what what's going to happen really, but um, we should um, do a nice little evacuation, get them off the planet, and uh, disrupt disrupt their technology, sort of like what we did in Orion when we took out the 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 pyramid um, power device there that that mm. witch was using or whatever. So um, I don't know who you want to call in there, Phil, for your, your teams here, but I'm bringing the master crystal along. So it's going to do some. Right. I'll be calling Everett, the crystal source being, I might bring you Raphael. It might need a bit of worry work. And Hermes. Uh, God of magic. Okay. Yeah, cool. they seem okay. I think Merlin's asleep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you probably robbed him. He's probably a movie. Uh, yeah, I think it's Crystal. Right? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I'll call it my higher self. Um, I'll call him Toth, and I'll call in. Um, I'll call in Metatron and the Galactic Council. There's like a, a Lumerian, a Lumerian craft that has been talking to me today that wants to come. So um, I'll let them assist. Um, and um, let's call on the, I guess we'll call on everybody. They send in masters, archangels. So. I'll call in the Andromeda system that I'm connected to. We'll call, call on the RCMP energies for protection as well as the- uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, you trying to do uh, tech on me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but we'll we'll create some nice protections around us. Um, I guess we could call on the Galactic Federation program, uh, like if they want to assist with this, uh, only if they're for the highest good. But we're going to let them working under the Galactic Council for taking orders and stuff. They're definitely not going to spearhead. The mission but the more ships the better i guess um we'll call on the crystal dimension the crystal oh, right, right. does anybody else want to call anybody in or yeah i want to call in uh, our dragons well good call our dragons and um yeshua yeah so I work with the Crystal Dragon Collective. I'm a crystal dragon myself. And oh, I've got some light language that's coming in. It would now be appropriate time to send yeah, you the transition before. It's a Yeah, I can Thank feel you. that protection energies as well. It's nice. Are you all, are you done or do you have more? Okay. It keeps trickling in, so I'll just say it and just send the energy in, and I don't have to keep interrupting. <laughs> so that's it for now. Yeah, strong energy. Thank you. I like I like how they tell you that's it for now, and then they give you more. <laughs> that happens to me. It's so funny. Um, it just trickles in. It's been trickling in, so it's I haven't even gotten a clear end of transmission yet. So, like I said, I don't want to keep interrupting, but. Um, I'll just keep speaking. Just let it, it flow. Yeah, sending the energy. Definitely just let it flow. And if you're coming up in the background, that's awesome. Um, okay. So with the Lemurian energy, um, I've been working with the goddess Pele. So I'm going to go ahead and call her in, my higher self and my higher aspects of myself, crystalline, um, the crystalline beings and my Lyran um, star family. Pulling them in. 
And then I will bring in the two columns of white light that I work with and surround our everyone who's on the call, watching now, watching later, during the full transmission of the recording. Um, Christed energy and my, um, the elven kingdom. It um, is. They're, <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're asking me to pull that in. And then just asking my higher self as Rachi when I was a Lemurian priestess to come and use that energy as well, because she's saying to connect with it based off of the work that we're doing specifically. Well, cool. Asgard wanted to come in too, so I'll call on the Asgard team. We're in the Atlantic Ocean right now. So the Arcturians and the Pleiadians are here and they want to join too. Awesome. They got crafts here. And then the Andromedans, right? Call them in. Um, they, and now I'm hearing call in the Galactic Ambassadors because I've recently been asked to be a part of that team. So um, asking the Galactic Ambassadors to join us as well, please. Thank you. Cool. I'm calling the Universal Council and then uh, who else was just asking to come in? Uh, you know what? Call in the Venetians. They seem to be very helpful. I'll give them a shot. A shot. We'll give them a shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is their, this is their uh, time to prove their worth. <laughs> uh, so funny. Uh, they're probably laughing at that. I didn't get a plant leaving my face right now. Like I could feel it wiggling out wow. like a worm. Connection is real. Confirming communication. Connection. Attached. I'm hearing we are linked. We are linked. Energy is intense right now. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of a lot of support I'm gonna come with us on this one. Okay. Well I guess we're ready, so let's uh, let's connect. So we'll set some intentions to break this frequency to disrupt all their technologies so they can't interfere with earth anymore to escort as many off as peacefully as possible. We don't want to harm anybody, but we're going to protect yourself if we're getting shot at. And um, so we'll put golden bubble shields around everybody right now. We're going to be in a ship that's protected, but it's just, just in case with light language, Archan Archangel light language. We we'll even throw on some uh, of these new diamond um, source codex light language onto our shields. Cool. And um, just breathe in golden light. We're going to connect here over our crown chakra, sending it through all of our chakras into the center of Gaia, into Gaia's heart, anchoring in there and connecting with Gaia's heart. Totelos wants to come. Oh, cool. Okay, so we'll call in the Telos beings. Um, breathing in the green energy from Gaia all the way through up our crown chakra connecting our pillars of light with source the elohim are going to be shields the elohim are here to shield and protect us the elohim shields coming over us now okay so this is obviously a risky mission um i never had the elohim coming like that before so, um, Dave, 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 I'll call in the angelic warriors. The okay. angelic warriors, sorry. Yeah. 
And we'll connect all of our hearts to all who are assisting for our highest good, for Earth's sovereignty, for our protections, who are leading here with us, the, all the councils, all the ETs, all of the ancient beings from Lemuria and Telos, the sh crafts here that are at the liberation front. Um, connecting our hearts with the Ascended Masters, with the Father, Mother, Creator, connecting our hearts with ourselves here for assisting, for receiving, no one, not for taking anything, this is just for receiving and to help to assist to see it. And it will go as one consciousness, come back as one consciousness. Okay. Okay, hold on. Star portal. Okay. So, the galactic crystal skulls are also a part. Okay. So, the dragons, I'm calling your dragons now. It sounds like we're, just, we're going to take a star portal to the crystal dimension. Um, so calling our dragons. If you don't have the dragons, will start appearing all around. <clears throat> We're going to, consciousness is going to be with the dragons. Okay. Yeah, and your crystal source dragon, that's cool. All right. So we're just going to get onto our dragons, and we're going to look up here. With star portal. Okay, so we're gonna set our sights on the star portal. It, it might, it looks like a sol, it's a Solaris, uh, Sirius, Sirius, a Sirius star. It's gonna take us to the uh, crystal dimension. Okay, so hop on our dragons here. And we're just gonna consciously project with them. And three, two, one, going up, flying up, going up towards Sirius. Line into the Sirius star system, going through this portal as we're getting closer, the frequencies of creation are coming around us, the light of God, the light of all. And we're going to go through the star now into this, into the crystal dimension. It's gonna take us into the crystal dimension, the crystal universe actually. Now we're just gonna fly onto the crystal, we're gonna go into the crystal uh, planet over here. And um, it's pulsating. It has like this amazing energies about it. Uh, it looks like an energy planet, actually. But we're going to go into the um, the Crystal City. Specifically, we're going to be landing at where this Rainbow Pyramid is. So we're just going to get off where this Rainbow Pyramid is. And it flashes. It flashes with all these rainbow colors. And it keeps flashing and flashing and flashing. It's extremely bright. Um, are you getting something, Phil? Yeah, it's not really flashing, it's spinning, and the light is shining off it. It's like, it's like a, a, well, the spaceship's spinning. Can, yeah. Right. So we're going to go into that, and we're going to go into this the spaceship here. And we're all going to get to this like com command deck. It's like an energetic command deck, basically, and there's there's seats for everybody. So there's a white portal in the pyramid. You just go through it, into it, to get into this pyramid, come to the command deck. Okay. Um, it looks like we're taking off into space right now. Okay. We're leaving the crystal dimension and we're s coming right over Earth. Okay. So where is, where is that? Um, let's go to Phil's. Energy bubble. Let's go into it. I have a feeling this has something to do with it. Mm. So we're just going to fly into Phil's energy bubble here. And then you can see this, the fleet around Earth right now. Here's a fleet ready to come and assist with this mission. Okay, so we're just going to call. I'm just going to call in. Uh, was there a galactic council member here? Okay, so what is the plan here exactly?
or like Fiji or okay Mount St. Helens is a base okay so where are, where are all these ships right now Can we like somehow, is there a faster way? Uh, okay. All right, so I guess we're gonna go to Mount St. Helens first. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna fly to Mount St. Helens and then, okay, so these are conscious. This is a consciousness ship. So it's with our conscious, what we're gonna do is we're gonna beam on to all of the neuro sh neuron ships, the neuro the neuro ships, and, and unlock them in with the. To put your hand onto the commands and to the com computers of the ship here, and consciously send out rays attaching to all the ships. And we're gonna. What kind of ships are those? Pull them and pull them towards the pyramid. Pull them towards our ship. Let's just keep them within range and then uh, let's make sure that we uh, are disrupting their firing mechanisms. Okay. Yeah, look, old, like a weird, weird looking ships. Uh, almost like primitive ships in a way. You know, must be just the age of them. Okay, so we're going to tether to them and we're going to send out beams to the ships. Through every ship that's open, that, that we can pull and retract to our ship here. The federations here are, are around us right now. They're also assisting, protecting us. Okay, we're going to go to... Uh, Mount Shasta quickly with these, we got like five or six ships that's attached to us right now. We're gonna to go to Shasta here. The Telos, we're gonna meet up with Telos ships. They're gonna assist us. Right. In the mountains, the tractor beam on all these other neuron ships over here. These ones are a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more modern. Okay, uh, this is like a, this is an evacu evacuation. There's there's like so many ships that are, that are with us right now. And uh, it's almost like, it's almost like a surrender. The hold on here, stop, stop. There's one ship that's trying to make a move on us here. Okay, they're just, Okay, I think we gotta quickly fly around here. Where, where else do we gotta go? Fiji, we'll head over to Fiji here. <coughs> Grab some more of these ships. And then tether onto them. Okay, we got like a full load of ships here. How many more are there? Okay. So we're going to fly into this Middle Eastern country here quickly. Istanbul or something like that. Oh, Jesus. All right. Protections are, protections are on us. Okay. This is time to go here i think this is it one more where egypt okay we'll go tether up the, the egypt ships as well all right now let's fly in the phil's bubble here let's fly in the phil's bubble energy bubble and these ships are just going to be on the outside of it and we're going to start flying through a portal that's going to take us to neuro it is um, white and red portal. 
and blue, and we're just going to fly through it and go into where Nero is. Okay, where's the frequency? Where's this going? Okay. Just kind of close that portal behind us. Let's see those ships are done. into this planet. It's purple. This planet is purple. And like it has waters, it's like a purple blue planet. Okay. We're gonna fly onto this planet here and the heck is this place? Uh, so weird. Yeah, it's definitely, it's got like purple mountains and shit, it's weird. Uh, okay, we're just gonna pick a spot to uh, on all these crafts here. Oh, there's, okay, we're getting fired on, oh, shoot. Okay, so anybody who's got crystals, disrupt all these, uh, these, these, these land devices that are firing on us here quickly. Mm. Break actually, while we're here, the fleets are escorting these ships down to the ground here. They're getting fired on. Everybody's getting fired on. Okay, we go. How do we do this? All right, just hit the fire, everybody with this, um, <clears throat> with their consciousness here, just fire on, on everything that's firing on us right now. Just fire on everything. Um, okay, this is, this is, they got a mothership. <clears throat> Up. Sending waves, waves of energy right now. Put over this mothership here. Disrupt, disrupt them. Got to take it down. We got to take the ship down. Oh, it's it's escaping. It's just just shot off somewhere. <clears throat> Okay, well, that's good. That thing was a beast. Okay. Okay, so all these ships grounded. All right, so let's focus. Let's focus with our intentions and our crystal energies and our weapons and everything on board to break everything on this planet <clears throat> that has any influence that's projecting anything to Earth. Disrupt it, destroy it. So that it can't bring these, send these frequencies down. They'll be able to rebuild, but they're not going to be able to come to Earth anymore. This is the end of their reign. Okay, so we don't, we don't want to actually physically harm anybody. We don't have to, but I mean, they were firing on us. If anybody fires on you at this point, what are these beings? Dave, I've, I've already landed with a party. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I know that you were going to do that, yeah. They look blue to you. Do they look like blue beans? Very similar to the planet cover. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Calling on the dragons to close the portals. Yes, let's call on the dragons to come swoosh over here as well as to assist the diamond dragon, the crystal dragon. Rad 
Tinda and the so by that so the Nadayata in the city team by a die at Sumba and Sakada and the day. I think they got a wave, a wave program of some kind here. We have this, uh, this device. Let's break this down. monsters this looks like an eye that's just shooting out these waves blasting that thing that's for sure perfect wash that one if i eat the coming on a night she at the co-op i at the co-op on a night i check it when i eat it Ah, Shakota Parana eighty. Wish the wish the aeta. Woman aeti cara aeta. Mano iratai. Wish the carana aeta. A caravian aeta by an aeti. Tushkta. Tushkta. Ah. The dragons are just totally taking over this. Holy smokes. There's a fleet. There's a fleet coming up that's just flying out, coming to you know, and waves over them. All right, let's send this ball uh, of light with Phil here. Was and just jam all their communications, all their devices throughout their whole planet here. There is a, a control route, a unit, like a big bubble on the on the land. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it had the, it was it was feeding this weird eye-looking pulsing device. Uh, so are you taking that out right now? That's where we are. All right, I'm going to send that ball of light over. I've amped it up. Supercharge. Their planet wants to be forgiven. I'm talking to their planet. It's Thank you. Oh, it just told me something too. There, they had like a way of getting in the middle of their planet here. There's a communications device in the middle of their planet here. He's telling the planet's talking to me here. He's sending me a trail. Okay. Destroy it. And then I won't be able to harm Earth. Okay. 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 Whoa. They got a, sh like a, a ship in the, in the middle of the planet. That's like a control. It's another control area. Okay. It's like a secondary one. Send in a dragon in there, please. What the heck is going on? Okay, they're trying to use a weapon on us here. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Dragon flame, dragon flames. Okay, pull back, pull back, everybody pull back. 
some kind of like a uh, some kind of like a warp a time a, a warp trap of some kind. It's pulling back. Uh, they're trying to pull in our ships. Okay, so we're gonna break this energy down. <sighs> Clear it. Clear it. Clear it up. Okay. Calling in the fleets, calling in the fleets to assist here. Pulling us out, pulling us out. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. And they're going to send in some final, some final blasts here in the center of the planet. Okay, good. That was crazy. All right. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> clear the ship and I think we gotta, get Phil, are you, are you done? Uh, yeah, it looks like you're done there. The okay. control, control base is gone. Yeah. There's some horrible guard sort of DNA creatures with one one sticking on the side. At 20 feet tall, it was horrible. Okay, let's go back to the ship. Everyone back into the ship here. We got to get, get out of here now. And uh, we've broken down everything and the frequency to Earth. It's not working now. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna, just going to go ahead and um, open up the portal back to the crystal dimension and go through it. And then we're going to land the ship here, close the portal. Dave, I mean, the crystal dimension, we need a cleanse, I think. Yeah, no, we do, yeah. Okay, so let's just, um, let's all, th before we had hop on our dragons here, um, let's get, we're just getting some crystal energy over the pyramid to cleanse it, and then we're going to exit off. So we're cleansing the pyramid first. They're just removing all kind. They 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 stuck on tracking devices on this um, pyramid ship. So this is they're just removing the tr tracking devices here quickly. Just magnetizing them. Just, just just destroying them. Okay. All right. Now we can get off the ship. And for all of our energy and consciousness, just to be on the safe side, because they use some crazy technology that they have this weapon here and we're just going to go into these crystal waters and sit and cleanse all of our energies right now and if there's any um somehow they got any attachments of any kind or any chips or anything from us we're just going to have these uh, crystal magnetizer things go over top of us and suck up any attachments out of our energy fields any chips even if it's not related to this mission, anything that's not serving our highest good, just to remove it out of our energies now. Okay, that was good that we did that. All right. And then we're just going to do a total crystalline cleanse, energy cleanse. Now we're going to talk to the crystal programmers here to remove anything from any of their weapons that they used on us, to remove anything from our energy fields from those weapons within it. So that was some kind. That was some other kind of weapon. That was so weird. 
is to remove any programming, anything that is from that weapon that they use on us. Suck it out of our energy. And then just a final cleanse. It's green and blue and golden light over us right now. Cleansing all of our chakras, energetic systems, all 12 layers, flushing all the density out. Okay, then we'll um, come back onto our dragons and go back uh, through this rainbow portal. We'll just fly through it back into the earth realm. Our dragons are just going to take us through the portal while us going through, coming back to earth. They'll just bring us right to our now moment, right to our spots here, drop us off, calling back our consciousness. Bringing back everybody's shields to 100%. The Elohim shields. Perfect. Thank you for that shield. And we needed that. That's why the Elohim came. Okay. All right. And then just wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes once you land back into your place. And you can open your eyes. And oh, wow, that was deep. Okay. Wow, it's pretty sophisticated that uh they pretty sophisticated. I don't know what it was, but um that energy had my eyes just like, I wanted to rip them out. They were just like, felt like they were burning and scratching the whole time. Mine were like, like this, like it felt like something was just like pulsing. Yeah. And then I don't know what that was we about. Were, when you. we were getting hit, when they were trying to like shoot at us, like I felt like I was getting downloads. Like it was like a, so I don't know. But that's the way it felt. Yeah. I was feeling it in my on my left eye, and actually, I have this. I don't even know. It's like a headache from nowhere. Yeah, I kind of got a headache too from that. You know? Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's weird. Like a pressure. Yeah, yeah it is. Getting, yeah, that's I weird. I was getting something here, but when we started going through, and I kept hearing the waters, the waters, and then you brought us to the waters, and so I was like, all right, good. I don't have to say anything. But um, but before that, I was like feeling like a pressure on the top of my head. And then once we hit the water, then it just kind of like left. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah and what, they were shooting at us that they had chips in it. That ch they weren't, yeah. they were very sophisticated. They were very sophisticated. They had very sophisticated I, systems. I was definitely feeling that headache happening too. And I kept thinking, okay, are we in like a vort, like, you know, were we kind of getting that vortex spinning? And I was like, okay, no, that's not, the energy that I'm feeling. Um, but I was definitely getting the, um, when we were working with the dragons, I was like, like, it was like, I was being crushed. <laughs> oh my. So I don't know if I'm like strapped onto one while we're like working with the dragons or, you know, I don't, I don't really know how I work with them. I just know that I do. So, um, <laughs> and I know we were using dragon fire for some, yeah, some a lot aspect. of dragon fire. A yeah. lot of fire. Like they kept making me do the dragon breath and just transmuting. And then they had me call on the violet dragon, the peace dragon, the courage dragon. Like they were having me just call Sophia dragon tribe. They were having me call them in it. And then they said, activate your golden dragon light body because I activated mine two weeks ago. And it's ah. key code 777 in the Sophia code. 
Yeah. So they had me like activate mine and it like it ground somehow like and she was like usually when I do it she's really like you know just like admirable but when I did it this time she was fierce. She was just like firing everything. Really intense. Okay. The uh, the control unit was interesting. Uh, the, it looked like they created some guards. They designed them. I mean, it had like arms coming out of here. It's very weird. And they were about 15, 15 foot tall. And the tech was more like frequency. I've never yes. seen any. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, and I was I was in angelic format. We actually got rid of the tech using the swords. We actually, uh, wow. was delete. It was like melting the frequency. It was a bit weird. Never seen tech like that before. Oh, it was right out of this world. Yeah, I kept feeling like I was like sending rays out of my hand, but maybe that had to do with using the sword. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, that, might be the, that might be the first retaliation from Earth that that planet's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, what the fuck just happened? When I, when, I, I didn't say that, when I first saw the guard, he was just about to get me on my dragon, which is my guardian. Fried him. <laughs> so, actually fried him. So that's what we guard guardians for. <laughs> when we were taking hits on the ship, I amped up the um, protection, the shielding. Like yeah. a, it was a white crystalline shield that went over it. And then when we were in the dragon realm, like I turned into like a big white, like a quartz like looking crystal. Um, oh. I wonder if that's you I was seeing because I kept seeing like almost like what I would I it looked like a big like a crystal, but it looked more like a mountain, like the size of a crystal. And I kept seeing that and I was like, what Hilarious. are you looking at? And um, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, well, I'm not seeing this blue planet, but I kept seeing like this big like almost like almost like the color like of a like a selenite, like like it almost looked snow capped, but not, but it was like yeah. Like huge, and I kept thinking, is that Mount Shasta? I'm like, it's not Mount Shasta, it's a crystal. Like I, I was like, it's a crystal. So I'm like, what am I looking at? So, wow. So what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, when we first got there and you said that we needed to cleanse it, like I saw this big wave of cleansing energy come over and it blew out a lot of stuff. And then y'all did, you know, your part and to clear the rest of it. And then I started seeing crystals form in my hands, which has happened several times. And then like the whole thing, like my whole body turned into a crystal, like yeah. a big pillar. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just going to anchor this. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Man, I have never seen anything like that in my life. That was crazy. Uh, Dave, sorry, we, we did kill a few. <laughs> yeah, no, well, we didn't have a choice. I thought we were just doing a peaceful escort off our planet there, and then not only did uh, ever peaceful they fight at us, but they had a fleet coming at us on top of it. Oh wow! And then whatever their mothership was, I guess just decided to take off once we started to attack it. So well, you know, it was really funny because right before you said that the mothership was taking off, I sent a love bomb like right up into it. Oh, cool! And then you're like, "It's taking off." I was like, "What?" Okay. Hold on, guys. I want to show you something. We're at, on the Atlantic Ocean right now. Oh, my finger on it. There's like. There's hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. I got a. I got this radio interview. I got to do like in a minute here. I got to call into them, so I made you the host. Uh, yeah. I got my times mixed up. It's on. I thought it was at eight o'clock, but it's eight Eastern, which is right now. So I gotta. I gotta take off here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah escape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, right, you, David. Guys. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, David. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. So, like, see the moon. It's a super moon. Holy super. It's been intense. So intense. It's so strong here. What is the light behind you? The moon. Behind you is the moon, or in front yeah. of you? It's behind. That's the ocean. Oh. Yeah, that's the ocean and the water. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the moon. It was right between you a minute ago, but now it's like out of screenshot. Yeah. 
Oh, there you go. Well, what okay. about Halo? Yeah, intense. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, Water hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Strong. Yeah. Just, just off screenshot. If you lift your camera up, oh, just a little bit more. There you go. There. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. So. So, um, Phil, I'm still feeling the pressure. I don't know if uh, anybody else is. But can you yeah, it's that? kind of like still around the head, around the crown okay, chakra. Okay, it's still there? Okay. Yeah, I just I'm feeling it. Sure I wasn't the only one. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, done that. <laughs> It's, it's residual energy. What, what we could do, we could all put our hands to the screen and ground each other. Ground, ground the energies. You want to do that for a few minutes? Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Before okay. that, could I share um, my part? <sighs> ground it from your heart. Yeah. Out of your feet. Should, should we do it as a, should we pretend we're trees and it's just going into our roots? Yeah. Now, asking Gaia to take it off us. Make sure when you're grounding your feet are flat on the floor. Yep. And if you want, I'll send a cleanse to us from the energy ball above our heads. See it. I feel so much energy coming from my hand right now. I hear Quanon saying the violet flame is the dragons are giving us the violet flame. I don't know if it's just him or others, but he said the dragons, so I guess there's more. There's a violet flame dragon, so that's yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably Quanon. If you communicate, maybe you can ask him. <laughs> We're here in numbers. There's so many. I've been harnessing dragon energy for a whole week. There's not an hour that goes by that I'm not roaring. Oh, cool. Ever since I connected with my soulmate and he put me online. Yeah, the heat energy signature is starting to subside. And the pressure in the um, in my head is starting to diminish as well. Just a few more minutes. They're saying just a few more minutes. Oh. <sighs> And light language to bring our energy back. The Fae want to bring their very high energy, which is makes you laugh. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> I love the fake. Oh. <laughs> 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 
They're saying just what the doctor ordered. We send you love and joy. I'm being told to close it with it is done, it is done, it is done by the power of three, perfect trinity, it is done. And that's the Soviet dragon code. That's how you like integrate it and end it and make it done. Beautiful. Nice job. Uh, by the way, the energy ball, you, you know where it is now, if you ever want any frequency, any, it's all in there. It took me ages to create it. So it's channeling different frequencies from the universe. The, whatever you need is in there. Where do we go to get it? It's in space, you, just by... Just yeah. ask for it? Yeah, just by intention. So I just intend to go to your energy ball? Yeah, you can use my energy ball. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I already did it before we started, but I was just reconfirming. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's interesting about everyone's into dragons because I've had a dragon since I was a kid, and like the yes, dragon, we do. yeah, dragons are from the magic world, in it, magic dimension. So that their, their their flame can be anything, whatever you want, whatever you need. Mine was always a protector. Mm, always. Yeah. My, mine, mine did a lot of damage when I was a kid. <laughs> for me, so to, just to imagine I lost it. Yeah, Dragon, dragons that, for like twenty yeah. years. I work with a lot of dragons, and I hear that a lot. Like my dad, yeah. dragon can just tear shit up. <laughs> yeah, they don't have any uh, right or wrong, really. They they do what you ask them, but, but you know they protect you. So uh, but don't piss them off. Yeah. Just don't piss them off, or don't let somebody piss you off while you're harnessing that energy because it's like a flame. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't know what this is, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't wanna you don't wanna I mean I'm a nice person, but you do not wanna be around me when I am pissed off because right. my whole personality changes. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I become the dragon, okay? I don't even need to call the dragon. I just become it. <laughs> yeah, it, that's exactly what happens. And I and I often don't have control of it. When I hit that point, there's like, I mean, I have had grown men. I have had grown men back away from me, big guys. <laughs> I don't, I, nobody messes with me, not even Facebook, okay? Literally. I've been posting shit for eight years and never been banned or blocked or nothing. And she's very Nothing. controversial. And I've been quote, posting, quote. Con no, con like the, the, what do they, they call them? The conspiracy stuff. Yeah, I've been posting Supposed that nonstop it. for eight years and I've never been banned because they will not mess with my energy. I've been told I'm a Shakti and I, I, I made it, my mate is a Shiva. So, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the moon child i've been told I'm like a million things so we're so many dimensional things i mean yeah. there's so many aspects to us we're not just one thing you know we all well I, do you think so i've been wondering this myself do you think everybody has that dragon energy or is it just I think some we've of us? been everything i mean obviously people that are awoken or awakened you know a lot of us are dragons i mean i seem to attract dragons like crazy like all my clients are dragons yeah all my messages are dragons. Um, as far as dragons go, no, they don't work with everybody. So you have to be to a point and you have to ask. Um, some do come in with the dragons already, but yeah. their awareness to it may take longer for them to actually understand like what that is. But I would say, you know, a lot of people who like are attracted to dragons or you'll see like they like, like, you know, with my little thing back here, you know, with the dragon. So they've got like dragon things around their house. Or they're wearing, you know, clothing with dragons. Yeah, they're probably. I, they've got I know. I should have worn my dragon shirt. 
shirt. She has a dragon yeah, shirt. But, she does buy. It's so cool. But they, but they have, they have indicated to me before that they don't, they, they don't work with everybody. They, you have to, you have to be like ready what, for it or. Yeah, one day. With one, I had it, one since birth. Yeah, my yeah. drag, my dragon is a shape shifting human dragon guardian that Merlin created when he was on Earth. In his aspect. And he's now my guardian. So, so, he was, that's a... so it's a bit strange that one. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, definitely to be a shapeshifter. And and actually, you know what that you say that. Um they tell me that the reason that a lot of my stuff is shut down that I like like I'll see certain things like my but my third eye is not like on like on twenty four seven. It just isn't. And the reason they said it isn't that way is because um, I am a shapeshifter and I can be like blue, green, like I can change into whatever I want. And I'm like, well, dang it, come on, that could be fun. <laughs> so, so they kind of like shut me down from my knowledge because if I had like my whole knowledge, my whole third eye capability, um, I could be dangerous and they don't want me to be dangerous. They want me to come and do the mission I'm signed up to do and like focus on that. So. <laughs> Definitely. I feel that. I feel that in my core. They won't let me remember my dreams. I'm not allowed. Yeah. Really? Well, that's not fair. Yeah. Yeah, they said it, I, I, it's too much information for me to hold right now because I'm taking on so much. Like, every day I'm dedicated just to this. I, like, it's my life. So I've been taking on so much that they told me that the dream would just, oh, it would knock me out of balance completely because there's just so much going on. <laughs> That'd so be crazy. Say, just chill and keep doing right. what you're doing. You're doing it. You're doing it. Just chill. <laughs> right. Come on you and know. tell us your dream. Come on and talk about that. Yeah. You don't have to come on video, experience. but come on off mute and, yeah. and tell us about it. The dream or our little journey here today. Wait, what? What are we doing? <laughs> Ray was posting in the chat about her dream, and I'm asking her to come off mute and talk about it she uh, doesn't have to come on camera if she doesn't want to but no i literally talk. just woke up happy 11 11 australia <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had um, to have my bold device my power stone my selenite and like had to call him like a lot to do this like they're yeah. like you need to bring this and this and this and this i'm like okay 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 it's a good thing i brought it all to the beach with me I'm being prepared for this as well. Apparently, I brought everything. I dreamt of, I dreamt of uh, um, some young magician who came into my dream, and he's like, "Do you have like a pendant, uh, pendant? What are they called? Amulet pendant or something? Crystal thing?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but I have to wake up to get it." <laughs> so I'm trying to wake <laughs> myself up and reach for it next to my pillow. Okay, I reached for it, fell back to sleep. <laughs> and then continue um so apparently i needed that and um just wore it throughout the thing and so the journey with you guys today um yeah i saw a lot of stuff it's just totally following along like all those rainbow crystal things going on um yeah my part seemed to be pretty passive i was just sitting there chilling in the ship like i'm on holiday <laughs> Just like, yeah, I'm just here for the ride, but I'm, I'm sure I'm here for some reason. Um, like when you blew up a bunch of stuff, um, there was, but like at first there was something like knocking again, like I was, I was close to a piece of glass and there was something that just banged against the glass. And it was just like one of those scary things. But then um, all the, suddenly all the souls that you guys blew up um, became very visible and uh so so i'm like okay what are all these souls okay we're just like i wasn't expecting to kill anyone or destroy anything i'm like oh okay all right we got to take care of these guys um so who who here is native to the planet okay absorb that back to the planet or absorb them back to the planet who's native? oh that's what you were doing then Yes, that's what I was doing. Because you were saying you were just, you thought you were just there chilling, but that's what your role yeah. was. Yeah, I guess I had a role. To ass and, assist um, with the souls. Cool. And um, so some of them were, quite a few of them were not native. And I'm like, oh, what do I do with you guys? Where are you from? Like, 
and they're just like lingering and I'm like uh all right while we're here should I ask you guys what was that all about like what is the role of your planet and our planet and I wasn't really getting a clear answer um still aware of the whole story of like why did your civilization develop the way it did Hmm. um like what happened I I still don't have a clear. If anyone else has a clearer answer, uh, Ray, um, I, I, I did. Yeah. I did know there was non-native other aliens from other planet from that, and they were like working for them. I don't know if they were like mi- mi- yeah. uh, being paid to do the work or if they'd been captured and they been trained to yeah. do it. But it, there was other creatures there that. Uh, so that ties in with what I was seeing. I'm. I'm just guessing that. Like, I didn't really intentionally, I mean, I guess I intended that they would go home. I said, go home, go home. And I'm, I just don't feel, I, don't, I didn't feel them go home or anything. Mm. So, well, I'm just assuming the universe will straighten this out, I guess. I, I hope. <laughs> it, they, were, they was, the guards were, uh, were definitely created. I don't even know if they had Maybe souls Maybe some of you them. guys could take care of that. And... Yeah. I don't think the, the guards had souls, to be honest. I think they were designed. A lot of it was technology, indeed. Yeah. Yes. And that's Do we have part to of my amulet, my amulet guards against certain things like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but the, the, one, from- the ones who were doing the uh, controlling, they were quite small, quite blue. And uh, I think they were like, that was their job. So yeah, you probably would say even that. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Mm. Letting me share. Mm. It's all good stuff. All right. Do we have to disconnect from anything else? Is that what you were asking? I was. I was wondering if our hearts had to disconnect still because I didn't. I thought if we did it, I didn't hear that part, so I didn't do it yet. I think, we, I, know I, think, I think we did that with the uh, grounding. Okay. Mm-hmm. I definitely yeah. sense the quiet. Just... Like everything just went very quiet. Mm. Yeah. I agree. Thank you guys. That was wonderful. And we did uh, we're all warriors. That's it. <laughs> It, the thing is, we awesome. do. We've got different jobs, and without one, we can't do the other. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we were on the ship during the battle, and you know, even after, like I, I was wondering and and asking, you know, what my job was, and it was to ground our energies back to Earth. You know, to hold that space so that we could come back. Cool. Yeah, Among I think we needed things. that. Yeah, <laughs> I've been told to go to the ocean as soon as I get off here and put my feet back in the water for at least 10 minutes. So mm. I'm very connected to the ocean. Is that this, the ocean here, not the underground, underworld ocean? But, yeah, yeah the know. Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Lemurian and Atlantis just keep coming up. I got Lemurian yeah. crystals like sitting in my mailbox at home. I, I go to the underworld and get blessed in the, in the White Sea there. Which, which is pretty good. Pretty awesome. If I'm allowed in. I don't know what my dragon just told you. But <laughs> well, I don't know. The gatekeepers yeah, of the underworld yeah. are two golden dragons, so they'll know exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually, I went, I, I went to show someone once, and the, the golden dragon said, "Sorry, no tours." <laughs> no, I, I wasn't allowed in. So. No tours. That's hilarious. I, know. Um, I love the dragons. That's it's that really. Day. It's really interesting because they're always telling me to focus on working with the golden and silver dragons and I'm like I don't know what I'm doing because sometimes I'll hear telepathically and then other times I'll just like like when I get to that point where I'm like think I'm like on that zero point 
I just zone out. I just psh, off I go. So I have no idea. And then I'll come up and have no recollection of where you I was. Just, I'm you doing. can just activate it. You just say activate the golden yeah. dragon body. Yeah. That's what I do. I just say activate the golden dragon light body. And it's like, I literally turn into the dragon. I have paws. I, I have, I see everything. It's like cool. a, a golden, but crystal. Wow. Very nice. So, you know, Wendy, I wanted to tell you that there were several times you were speaking a, a language. I don't even know what it is, but like I would, was crying. My language. Like I recognized that I responded to you in the same language too. I, but I heard it. I, I heard it. Um, it was like we were having a conversation that you hadn't spoken in so long. It's, star, it's your star family. I, that, I, that just came out of my mouth. So that's obviously being channeled. It's your star family. So, um, and I'll have, I'll have to go back and listen to what I was channeling to tap into what it was, but, um, yeah. but a way, that you, a way that you can do that too, is if you use your receiving hand while it's being spoken and just, you know, kind of put it out to when you're rewatching it and ask, um, what am I listening to? What am I listening to? And then you'll just, you'll just hear it. Okay. I will. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to go back and listen to like when, because I, I had, I was, I was channeling a couple of different beings, so. Right. But I do remember when we were like talking together. I remember that. And it may have yeah, been Lemurian. Was, now, I'm, now it's like, yeah, it may have, it may it have been Lemurian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it, um, like I can remember earlier, like hearing Ancestral, and then I remember we were both kind of, talking and then I, I think it was Lemurian because it has kind of a has kind of a Hawaiian-esque I don't know how to describe right. it you know like I, like yeah not aboriginal but like like something that you would imagine the indigenous people speaking it's kind of how it like in my head that's how it was playing out so yeah, yeah I'd have to go back and re-listen but I think it's Lemurian yeah. I think it's Lemurian Wendy how many light languages have you spoken I don't know. I've lost track. Um, I, I know I've done Arcturian, Fendorian, um, Dragon, Fae. There's uh, Cygnus, which is like a large giant swan. Cygnus, that's one that's recently come up. Um, Syrian, they're telling me I've spoken Syrian. And... Uh, Liren. So did it, what did I say? Uh, have I ever told have I ever told you I did angelic song in a building I had and destroyed the building? Oh my god. It got it got written <laughs> off and it's six thousand six thousand oh, wow. square feet. It's not small, it's a massive building. And uh, I created a tornado was created inside, lifted it oh, and oh. Uh, and it got written off and we were in it at the time. Me, me and me stuck oh, well. in it. We had to run out. <laughs> you had to run out? Oh my gosh. The actual wind See, blew. Now, when I just... speak it, I'm not like wrecking buildings. <laughs> I know, <laughs> me neither. Like, I've, I've spoken like 12 or 13 different languages. There was angelic, Pleiadian, oh. Arcturian. Um, yes, yeah. Yeah. angelic and Pleiadian too. There's, and then there's um, some AI beings. Have you, like there's some kind of an AI being that I've spoken in like some R2D2. So I don't know who or what those were. So yeah, I haven't really, I haven't like gone back to like count. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I do go to Faye the, and I, I go to the Andromeda system quite a lot, but it's a, a female princess that likes me and I'm a bit wary of it. I don't really want to stay there too and long. <laughs> I might not come back. It's going to keep you there. <laughs> there's, there's actually like Elven and Fae too. And then there's three different draconic languages that have come through. And one of them I was told was like from the draconic high council that only a few people could speak. I, or, I know, wonder, I, I'd like to like kind of have a conversation with you about that or, um, because I don't know if when you hear it, like, do you hear it channel through? Because for me, I feel like I'm just kind of an open vessel and it just comes in and comes out. Yeah, um, I just open my mouth and it comes and out. out it comes. Yeah. And I remember um, a couple of journeys ago, <laughs> they wouldn't let me, like, I was trying to, like, translate or say, like, like speak about, like, the next thing. And they wouldn't let me, like, the, the transmission kept coming through. So 
I was like trying to say like English and then I yeah, yeah. Try to, like say a word and it would just come out like da 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 like whatever I was like channeling at the time. Um, but I think the funniest one that I ever had was when I was channeling R2 D2. Oh, I've channeled Sophia. I sang like so Gaia, it, like, but it was in light language um, because Sophia and Gaia are like one and the same. She's Gaia yeah. is a fractal of Sophia. And so I was channeling some kind of a lullaby. And I, that mm -hmm. video hasn't been shared or posted yet. But anyway, but when I listen to it, oh my God, it just like brings you to tears. It's like mm -hmm. so soothing with the emotion of it. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like she's singing to all of her children. It's just so beautiful. But um, that was yeah, the singing I, I don't know. Language I, got. I love the singing light language when that comes I just, through. I, I, she just told me that's what I was doing with you because I was getting <laughs> light language singing to me, but I didn't know what it was. That was the first time I ever heard it in my life besides you guys, you know, from yeah. here. And awesome. she was like singing me to sleep. Yeah, and yeah. She, she just let me know it was her because I didn't know. And they do. I, yeah. they do. Um, the Galactics, they also use, I call it toning, but it's a, like, mm -hmm. you know, when you're kind of like, you're just like, woo, you know, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, like, I was doing that a lot. During during the and, I, yeah. and I know we were both doing that. So what toning is, is just like light is a frequency, sound is a frequency, and sound is light. So while you're toning, that's what you're doing is you're like sending out this light frequency. And we were doing that during earlier, like during the battle part where we were like, okay, everybody mm -hmm. like shoot out or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we were using that frequency during that time okay. so whatever that was whatever that was for we were muted but so was she yeah she was singing to me <laughs> have i ever told i've ever like, told okay. you wendy when i was a yes. child i used to reply to people in light language they spoke english <laughs> and i replied in light language i had nine years of tests to see if i had brain damage there you go oh, oh no <laughs> wow my my wow. eight-year-old does that and she's like, she, I've taught her to tell people that she's just speaking gibberish, but sometimes she's actually told them, I'm speaking light language. And I'm like, shh, shh, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's so into dragons. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, she's a new dragon coming up, I guess. Oh, wow. Um, I wonder if you can recognize there, there's a light language that I'm like, it's on the, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's something like, Something like that. Oh, I don't have a lot. Sounds like what yeah, Wendy's it sounds familiar before. for yeah. sure. Um, oh, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia. Yes. from the other day. And you know what? I you know what just happened? I gotta look that up. When I was listening day. to it, when I was listening to it, I was like hearing it, but then in my mind, because of I, the light language that I write. All of a sudden, I saw the images of like what those letters look like, what that language awesome. looks like. It just like just popped like 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 a pop instantaneous in my mind. I was like, oh! And then as soon as I saw that, because of the light language that I've written and I've like I've written down like if it's Pleiadian or Cassiopeia, um, then it's like when you were talking, I was listening, and then it, I saw the written, and then I was like, oh, Cassiopeia! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, how, how do you spell that? Can you write that in chat? Um, so I can look C -A, it up. Yeah, C A S E O P I A, Cassiopeia. Two S's. That's right? Okay. I don't you get know, two my, S's with it. I only get one S. Cass Cassiopeia. Oh, interesting. My, my Siamese cat's name is Alpha Cassiopeia or Cass. Oh, it is. <laughs> I have no idea. What and the name is. came to me. <laughs> you know, it was channeled with to it. me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're, you might be connected with Cassiopeia. And then. Uh, <laughs> The Andromedan language is actually yeah. broad, so it's almost like dialects. I've used it before, like for an example, um, I lived in the Philippines, and while I was there, different provinces would speak different dialects of Tagalog, so it would be similar but different. Yeah, so yeah. in Andromedan, that language is like Fendorian is Andromedan because I'm, I'll hear it. And I'm like, okay, those sound very similar. Like, what am I speaking? And then sometimes I'll just tell, like, while I'm speaking it, they'll just say like Fendor, like I'll hear it. And then I'll, I'll, then I'll say it in English and then they'll make me go back and just go back to whatever <coughs> I was channeling. But, um, but be, 
because of like our progress and with the, you know, with more light coming in. And as we know that all these like light codes have been coming in um, more and more frequently, the energy is higher. So my understanding is that as the energy gets higher and higher and we see all our Schumann spikes, right? With the magnetic energy, that as the energy gets higher and higher, my capability to channel, read and write and translate light language is like, like, up, like leveling up, leveling up is the best way. I just came online, but they're telling me the, the, the Pleiadian light language I've been writing that I showed you, uh -huh. they're telling me to go down. I brought my feather. So the tip of the feather, they want uh -huh. me to go and, and do it at the, on the ocean, like go by the ocean and do that light language tonight for the super. Oh, night. so use the feather and write it in the sand. Yeah, like, so it's like a pen, so I could, because it's quick, yes. it comes out so quick, I don't even have, I'm not in control of it at all, I tell you that, yeah. when at first, when it was happening, I'm like, what the fuck, like, what is going on, yeah, and I was, feel like you're, oh. you feel crazy, you feel like you're just, like, scribbling shit on a piece of paper, is what it feels right. like, exactly, like, I'm like, like this doesn't look happen. like just scribble, though, something's even, up here, yeah, it's starting to take more form, yeah. you know, yeah. I told her, it's kind of like, when you start writing any language, or, you know, like, it comes out, doesn't come out right, but it's, like, gonna take more form, yeah, and then the other thing too, and Phil, I don't know if you've ever tried to write tongue while you're like, when you hear it to try to like write it, I think you should do that because that would be mm. probably very powerful that, healing. That'd be interesting. You know, something I um, haven't mentioned, mentioned, Andromeda, the planet I'm connected, they're from the bl planet that blew, blew up in the wars. Which, which is it live there, starts with an L. I can't remember it. Maria? No. Yeah. The one that blew up. They ended up, Marianne. yeah, they, end, yeah um, but, oh, oh, oh. they ended up going to that planet. They're, they're like bright white and white energy, but there's also yeah. other, other planets that are blue because of that sound of the planet. Because if you live on a planet, it depends on what you eat and everything. It, it, so it's a planet and the creatures are blue, but they're from the same, set, they're the same species basically, but they're from I the planet. The, 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 hmm? My blue it, lifetime was amazing. It was great. <laughs> I had lots of babies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I mean, I have a. I remember the lifetime on Blue Sirius B, but there there was actually a galactic war going on, and um, anyway, that's a whole story. I won't unless y'all want to hear it, but it was. I don't want to get off topic. <laughs> I was on a Ryan in the wars, and my twin flame cut my head off. And I, the last thing I could see, the last thing I could see is see her smiling and laughing because she just cut my head off. And uh, I, I had a lot of residue because of that. Because uh, I died. I can so imagine. Strong. You cleared so. it this lifetime, though. You cleared it this lifetime. Yeah, I've sorted yeah, it. Yeah, we cleared everything. Everything yeah, cleared. cleared. I've cleared it all. We're clearing it all. But, but, but so the memory's still there. <laughs> they, they actually want me to share this story with you. Um, I, I had met this gal um, yeah, in um, a light language share group and we had a light language conversation and in the middle of it, like we were speaking so fast, like she spoke Pleiadian, like so fast, like it was yes. like, you know, machine gun. That happens okay. to me sometimes too. Yeah, yeah, like I, I can't speak it that fast, but we started speaking a different language and we both started like laughing because we, re we, we realized we were recognizing each other and like we hadn't seen each other in so long and it was really exciting to reconnect. Then we both started crying. Yep. And we're just like, you know, speaking out, that, you know, it's coming out like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm getting bits and pieces and she is too. So we started reconnecting it and we had had a lifetime on Blue Sirius B during a galactic wars and we had peace where we were living. But there was a group that came in and they used some kind of device and they sucked out the radion. That was the word she got, radion, out of the atmosphere. And they did it in such an instantaneous way that we were all vaporized, like instantly. Wow. And so like all of us were like in shock and our spirit was still hanging out, but this aspect of us was not integrated. So I integrated them and we were able to pull it back. But what was so crazy was what happened was like I saw this aspect of my soul traveling through space. And there was literally like a cloud of space dust connected to it. And when it got to me and reintegrated, like I felt, you know, it coming back in, but then I pooted and literally could see a cloud of space dust. It was the weirdest thing. And then, 
So, you know, it's, it's really interesting when, uh, how our bodies respond to this stuff. I actually worked with the Hadarians too. And when we pulled in those aspects of ourselves, I did a light language transmission afterwards in that group where um, to reintegrate aspects of ourselves that were lost. And it was really, really powerful. I tried to recreate it and do one on my public page too. It's, it's good. It's not as good, but like, even I watched it again recently and I was like, you know, it really anchored some stuff in. And my yeah. name's Christina, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, I added her to the. I added her to the chat. She's in the group. Oh, and it starts with Christina with an X. So yeah, I added her yesterday to the group, like the chat though. Okay, I have to like look you up so we can like connect more because I have a feeling yes. like activations just with us talking, like after we had done whatever we did earlier. Um, so there's some kind of activations that are going on, but um, but it's really interesting because there. I just ended up working with this client that had like the pyramid energy. So there were, what happened is the pyramids put a curse on people who were using their, I don't know if I can explain this power. correctly, putting, misusing their power for, for bad. And so the pyramids put a curse to all these people. So these souls are like trapped in the pyramid. And then there's some kind of like a, portal that they have to like work through and and this this client is going to have to like she has to like discover her own shamanic self and as she develops it and taps into it she will be helping these people pass through and I don't know maybe you are familiar with this term you guys um the halls of a mentee and yes. so That's so right. helping them <laughs> pass through everywhere yeah, to go through the halls of a mentee to get cleared. So this is her work. So Your we've like just, but she had so much like crap attached to her. Oh my God. It, it, we had two sessions, two full sessions of like almost, I almost worked with her for eight hours, but, um, oh my gosh. but it was like clearing and clearing and clearing. And then the, here's a fun part. She, um, she had a little white dragon that was in her heart and it wouldn't come out. And so I had to get my dragons to come fetch this little dragon and it's a serpent dragon. <laughs> But, but it's also a wild feral, feral dragon. So it was wild. So it like it wanted to do what it wanted to do. And so we like we tried to like every left, right, this side and the other to try to get this little dragon out of her heart space and like be with her outside of her body instead of inside of her body. <laughs> but um, but anyway, so the dragon's helping her do all this healing work. And um, and then there and then she also had like whatever like whatever had happened to her in the past, like the, like this entity was taking like the souls of like animals and galactic creatures. And so she had all of these like entities with like trapped from an entity in her, like stored in her. And I'm just like, oh my God, like we, so anyway, it was a lot, it was a oh, lot. Wow. But, um, but her work is we finally got it like all clear to like figure out what's going on, what she's supposed to be doing. Um, because I, I was asking, well, like how many souls are we talking about? Because I've had like worked with ships or whatever, and you have hundreds and some other things, thousands. And so I said, so what are we talking about? Like hundreds or thousands? And, um, and the response came back millions, millions and millions. And I was like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just like, you don't uh, think about like the effects of like how one little life can like, yeah. Be attached and connected to so I many had because a of past lives. You know? out of yeah, me once, and we were in the park. He was in the park with Shaman. He's like pulling. He's like, you don't have like a couple of entity. I'm pulling out hundreds and thousands. Look at him go. And he's just like, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm pulling like your dolphins are like pulling them out, and they're all swimming with the dolphins. And it's like, yeah. he's like, I haven't seen this many. <laughs> I'm like, I'm special. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> and. And actually that they've had me do that too. Work like the turtles, the dolphins and wells to like clear the energy first and then we can go in and like work. So it I don't know, it's interesting. There's so many different tools that we have available to us that the more so, we learn how to use them and work them, you know? Yeah, Wendy. Sometimes you make a big mistake and I made one last year when I met me twin flame. I surrendered all my residue from every Every aspect I've been from every reality from me. After three weeks, I had enough. It's all coming out. Three weeks of it. <laughs> it must have oh. been mil millions. 
So it depends what you say sometimes, but I could handle a few days and you know, the buzzing got loud and everything was clear. I did feel you, you, you saw the change in me anyway. You saw me yeah, change. I remember. You, you saw you saw a huge change, but after three weeks I, I said I've got to stop. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. This work can really be exhausting. Yeah, I, I'll let me next. I'll let me next aspect to remove the rest. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, wait till they. Wait, it's like whoever's next, they can take care of it. I know I've had that happen with a couple of um, people I've worked with, where they're like, I don't want to have to deal with it this lifetime. Like that, that karmic deck can go to the next life. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, I it all done. All but you it. know what, too, like. Um, what was I just finding out? Oh, there's some kind of like binding that's happening in my heart. Like that's, I'm like, how much like heart release can I have? Like, I feel like I keep releasing, 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 releasing. And I'm like, how, like, geez, Louise, like how, like how much more, how, how much more, you know, but, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but they said like, it, it's whatever it is, it's going to happen like over the next couple months. And so I'm like, okay, so over which couple months, like this month and next month or next month and then it'll be done so i don't know but it and it's it's also funny too because at least for me and maybe i set it up this way but um it's like it's like i have to it, it's like it's like i have a checklist and off the checklist i say okay checkbox this is done okay i can get the next thing checkbox this is done okay i can get the next thing so it's almost like this little puzzle game that i created for myself that i don't get to get like the next thing that i can use until i like check the ones off in front of it and then when they're checked off then I can like talk to the people or get access you know what I mean like like find out about my other aspects that I can now use their energy or now heal their energy so yeah it's kind of I don't know it's interesting but so they're making us work for this you know th those of us that are healers we I mean like you experienced Phil you had to go through that for three weeks oh my god <laughs> it was like a drum in there for like a week now Welcome to multidimensionality. Uh, every five minutes, it's like surrender, 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 surrender. That like I had to jump in the ocean today, or, or else like I would have had to wait another six months for what's oh coming my gosh. week if I didn't do it because I had, had a, to face my fear. Yeah, she had a fear of going in the ocean. So. I love the ocean and I'm connected, but I'm afraid to swim in it because of like the sharks and stuff. And I had oh, yeah. to like overcome that. I got but, one more to do. And I'll be good. And that's, I'm going to the Springs for five days. I'll be in the woods in the Springs. Oh, with no be phone. Nice. No phone. So, and I'm multi, I'm like put, like with my, my soulmate, we, we could like, we talk without talking type stuff telepathically. So he'll be connected to me at the time, like leading me to do what I have to do. Cool. That's crazy. Well, you guys, this was really great conversation. Thank you. Yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> Definitely lightened the mission, okay? Like, it made, like, the mission okay because, like, we had a blast after. It, like, lightened the mood, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so true. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Mm -hmm. You too, everyone. <laughs> yes. It's nice to meet you all. Yes, all right. you as Bye. well. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. What's Bob's number? I don't have it in this phone.